you doing over here? Just taking off some rockers. Oh yeah. So we got this big guy ripped down here. Got the tappet saw cam out, oil pan off, compressor off, doing some little stuff. Uh, and today we are going to throw in this nice Hamilton cam. Uh, it's a 188-220 drop-in cam. Oops. Here's the cam card. Okay, it's a Hamilton drop-in cam. Drop-in meaning you don't have to do any machining on uh, the pistons. Here are the tappets. Brand new, obviously. And here is the keyway. Uh, Look at that, not reground or anything. So shiny. So we're gonna get this cam in today. Everything all hooked up. Make sure it's all timed properly. Run it. Listen to it. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So. Muy bien. So what are your thoughts right now? I think we gotta get her going here. Oh yeah? As soon as we can interpret 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 some schematics possibly. <laughs> I might have instructions too for the shut off solenoid. Larry Beast! <clears throat> oh, what a freaking mess. Right there. Power ground and a signal. Three wire, right? Red wire should be connected to the battery positive. Black wire is ground. White wire, small stud on starter. Blue wire connects to the vehicle ignition. Okay. So we have to turn the, put the blue and the red to a battery pack and just ground yeah. the black. So all it does, I think, is when the white one hits that, just fucking turns the cylinder on to fuck, just to pull it up and then the other wire energizes the magnet to hold it up. Still nothing, damn. Nope, not yet. Okay, you wanna go do me a favor? Now what? Turn on that fuel pump.
injection. Well, I thought you said it wouldn't shut off. No, it will, but sometimes it can run out. So as you can see, I obviously just blew off some of the charge piping. <laughs> uh, it actually did hit the roll cage and it dented up a little bit, but I flattened it out with a, just a hammer. Uh, you can see a little ding there too I gotta fix, I just noticed. Uh, anyways, you can tell that these are not V-band and they are not bead rolled. Uh, these BD diesel clamps are supposed to hold up to 100 PSI, uh, straight clamping weight with any without any bead rolls. but since I have a bead roller, uh, I'm actually going to just take these charge pipes and bead roll the ends so there's a little bit more to grab onto. Uh, I didn't do this initially because I didn't think I'd have to, but now I'm going to take all these out and everywhere where there's clamps, I'm just going to bead roll the edges and hopefully won't have that problem again because that was a pretty good sized explosion. <laughs> 